Hello, my name is James Gibitosa. I'm a 26-year-old first-year resident working at uh, Rutgers New Jersey Medical School in a major hospital about 10 miles from Manhattan. Coming to you from my car, one of the only places I don't have to wear a mask. Uh, I'm caring for numerous COVID-19 patients on the general medical floors with my fellow physicians, nurses, and hundreds of other healthcare workers and support staff. To give you an idea of our daily basis, um, we arrive at around 5.45, 6 a.m. We'll round on patients, the majority of which are now COVID-19. Uh, we'll monitor their vital signs, pay extra attention to their oxygen requirements. Um, the management of these patients consists of maintaining oxygenation, providing medication where indicated, and monitoring for any escalation to higher levels of care, such as ICU. Um, throughout the day, we participate in frequent conferences with our critical care and pulmonary staff who are constantly aware of all COVID-19 rule out and COVID-19 positive patients. It's very important to get tested and receive potential treatment if you or a loved one believes you are developing symptoms because this can escalate very quickly. To all my fellow healthcare workers out there, I want you to remember this quote from a favorite series of mine, Doctor Who. Courage isn't a matter of not being frightened. It's being afraid and doing what you have to do anyway. Thank you. Stay strong, stay safe, and keep saving lives. My name is Dr. Sana Rashid, and I am a 27-year-old resident physician working at Rutgers New Jersey Medical School at one of the hospitals in New Jersey that's been hit hardest by the COVID-19 pandemic. I was working in the ICU uh, when the first wave of our COVID-19 patients started to arrive many of which would get intubated shortly on arrival. It's been incredibly challenging taking care of these very sick people, at the same time not fully understanding this very deadly virus. I also had the opportunity to work in our telemedicine um, clinic, which used to be an in-person clinic. But because of the pandemic, we, we started seeing our patients um, over the phone and then seeing if they have any COVID-like symptoms that we need to keep a closer eye on or if they have any other urgent complaints that would prompt an in-person visit. Although these times are very challenging and a lot is being asked of us, we will keep fighting um, and we will keep trying to help these patients. Hi, my name is Dr. David Kondasar. I'm a fourth year anesthesia resident at Rutgers and I'm here in a call room where I'm rotating in another hospital uh, for ICU. We have traditionally a 12 bed ICU, med surge, and a 10 bed CT ICU. As of this point, we have a 22 bed regular floor that's been turned into an ICU filled with COVID patients that have to be turned every day. We have the CT ICU and the medical surgical ICU, which are also filled with COVID patients, all of whom are sick. We've had uh, staff been sick, staff who have died. We've had, you know, myself, uh, I was COVID positive. I was out for a week with shortness of breath and left lower lobe pneumonia. And the hardest thing about this has been seeing patients FaceTime with families for a last time before they go to sleep. And then that's it. It's been an emotional journey. It's had ups and downs. Um, and you know, there's still a very long way to go. Uh, but I could not ask for a better team. The people that I work with, uh, the nurses, the techs, the people that clean the rooms, the, the, the clerks, the residents, the attendings, everybody. It's been an unbelievable experience, an unbelievable learning experience for something so new and novel. And, you know, day by day, you know, we're keeping our heads up. We're here every day. And if we're doing it, you know, we need everybody else to do their part too.